Well, our homes are equipped with devices that can detect trouble in the air from threats like smoke and carbon monoxide. Could that soon be possible with COVID-19? Paula Tubman has an exclusive look at the technology that could be a game changer and the company developing it. Think about the invisible scentless poisonous gas, carbon monoxide. Hundreds of people die every year because they simply don't know they are breathing poisonous air. Now think of the lives a simple CO monitor or carbon monoxide monitor saves by sounding an alarm if the gas is present. Well, it is possible. The newest canary in the mine shaft is for COVID-19. We uh, monitor aspects that determines whether uh, the air we breathe is safe. We monitor things like particles in the air. Uh, particles can be um, uh, virus bearing uh, particles. And so if we detect a lot of them and if there is potentially a virus, we know that it's a dangerous space. Senseware, an air quality company in Washington, D.C., which maps the footprints of various airborne particles and integrates sensors that can tell when those particles are present, is now developing technology to report the presence of COVID-19 air particles in real time. The sensor is already in its third third-party trial for a real-time COVID-19 sensor. It's basically a pathogen sensor and what it, the sensor has the unique uh, footprint of the virus. There are lots of different kinds of particles in the air and by being able to isolate them, to map their characteristics, synthetically reproduce those particles to test the efficacy of a sensor's ability to recognize that so-called footprint or biomarkers, researchers have been able to develop this sensor no different than a smoke detector, CO monitor, radon gas monitor, or any other particulate alert system. And developing this monitor is a game changer for the world. So the product is still in its testing phases in September. It will actually be tested in hospitals and care centers where there is a high likelihood of a presence of the disease to make sure that this actually works in a field setting. And if all goes well, we should actually see this coming to us in Inside Spaces by mid-October and know that we will keep our eye on this for you. Paula Tutman, Local 4.